Hi, I'm Regina, sailing family and friends. Uh, let's do some example and exercise on time to arc. So we'll have our beloved nautical almanac, which we will be using in a minute. And let's assume we are on the Bay of Biscay somewhere. We, we have an, uh, a position, an estimated position or an approximate position of say 46 degrees and uh, 14 minutes north. And uh, what shall we say? six degrees and 48 minutes west. So the question is now, uh, when will it be noon at our position? So for this sake, we need a day. What day shall we say? Let's take the 20th of March. So the question is now, when will it be noon uh, at our position? We can approximately say it already by just eyeball uh, navigation. You can say that, uh, that noon in Greenwich is approximately 12 o'clock UTC. And we are approximately, well, seven degrees west. And 15 degrees takes an hour. So 17 degrees, seven degrees is a bit less than half of that. So it would be some 25 minutes. So seven degrees is approximately 25 minutes. So that's half an hour because the sun takes 15 degrees per hour. That's just very approximative, just to see if we are correct. So this means we should have noon at 12.25 UTC. Now that, uh, let's look if that is correct or if we do it a little bit more precisely. So first we have to look up when is it noon uh, in Greenwich. So for that sake we need to find the 20th of March on the daily pages. Here is the 20th of March. We have the stars and the planets over here. We have the sun and moon and some other information over here. So let me zoom in this position here, there. And you can see that it says sun and meridian passage on the 20th at 12 o'clock and seven minutes past the hour UTC. When you want to do it exactly, it's seven minutes and 20 seconds behind. But never mind the seconds. So it's 12.07 that it is at the Meridian at Greenwich. So we write down here 12.07 at Meridian. That's the, the Meridian passage. Now, 6 degrees and 48 minutes. How long does it take for the sun? I said approximately half an hour, a little bit less. So therefore, we have here in the same nautical almanac, back here, I think I've made a little piece of paper. It's good to, to mark your pages, which you're very often going to. And this will be one of your favorite ones, I reckon, Arc to Time. So we can recognize here that um, 15 degrees will take about one hour and one degree takes four minutes. So we said we were at six degrees and 48 minutes. So six degrees is here, 24 minutes. So we write this here, 24 minutes. That is for the six degrees. And these 48 minutes, we can look here. Here it says 48 minutes. Can you see it? No, all right, I'll show it. It says here, 48 minutes. There, 48 minutes takes 3 minutes and 12 seconds. 3 minutes and 12 seconds. So, precisely, we will be 24, 5, 6, 7, 27 minutes and 12 seconds after 12.07. So I didn't know that about the 12.07 because I said approximately noon. So we have to add these 27 minutes plus these 12.27. So the result is at 12 o'clock and 34 
UTC. That's when we have noon. Now that means that we could go up on deck maybe 10-15 minutes before. So let's say quarter past 12 or 20 past 12 we go on deck and wait until the sun goes, you know, moves up, up, up. And then it seems to be 20 minutes at the same height and then go down, 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 down. Of course we could have this waiting on deck all the time. And when you ask when is it noon, the standard answer is, well, it is approximately like yesterday because we haven't moved that far in the longitude. So even if we are on a westerly course and we sail, sail about 100 miles west, it's, well, a couple of minutes later. So that is not the issue. More importantly is that this is a good exercise when it then comes to uh, shooting planet stars and, um, and uh, the Polaris, which is a star as well, uh, because then we have to calculate twilight. So this becomes very important. But here we have now calculated when is it noon. So go back to our uh, original question here, remember? When we in the last exercises um, figured this out. So we didn't really know where we were shooting this. So I think I'll better reveal where we are. We are actually, we have actually left uh, the North Cup nor on Northern Norway and our, are on our, uh, on a northerly course towards Spetsbergen. Isn't that a nice, exciting leg. So we're on the way to Spetsbergen and our very approximate uh, position for that in the uh, Briatic Sea it's 17, 73 degrees and two minutes north and we have uh, 24 degrees and 23 minutes east. That's approximately where we are. So that's just an exciting example to make it all work out, to be honest. So I have here, look at this, I have here to calculate the ship's noon. I can write the meridian passage, and then it says a little footnote six, and it says footnote six, nautical almanac of the day. Ah, so here we have the nautical almanac. We have it on the day, that's 16th of May. So let's look up May, 14th, 16th of May. So here the question is, when is the meridian passage? When does the soon, uh, sun pass uh, uh, in Greenwich? So again, we'll look down here. And you can see here on the 16th, there, it passes at 11.56. So I'll write down 11.56. Arc to time. Now, we are now on an easterly longitude. So that means that we will be having the sun and uh, on its, we will have noon, and we will have the sun on its uh, zenith uh, earlier than it passes through the meridian. So first it comes to us, and then it goes to uh, Greenwich. So it is actually a minus. So I'll make a little circle here, because it's before. And it's 24 degrees and 23 minutes. Now, approximately, it's 15 degrees to an hour. That's how fast the sun is turning around the Earth. So that would be, a, well, it's more than an hour before. And it's not quite two hours. So it's one and a half hours before. Let's do it precisely. Let's look at the time to arc. So now we have a look at 24 degrees. 24 degrees there is 1 hour and 36. Well, who said it? 1 hour and 36. And then we have the 23 minutes there. You can never never mind the 23 minutes. It's, it's one more minute. All right. I can use my eraser. Let's call it 37. It's just to know when we go out on deck, right? To shoot the sun. So this one extra minute comes from these 23 minutes here. So 23 there, it says one minute and 32 seconds. And if you have your own uh, almanac, you will be able to follow that as well. Put this aside, do this calculation. So now it's minus. So from seven to six, it is nine. Put a little one there, that's three, four, that's one. And here it is at 10. 
So at 10.19, always UTC, we will have ship's noon at our position 73 degrees north, 24 degrees east. So that's how you do a little time to arc calculation. So stay tuned in the next chapter and then we will continue with some more calculations and exercises.